We'll have to have a look at that on the replay. That actually looked, uh, as I said, almost textbook. Nose came around, dropped the wing. That was yep. beautiful. Oh, I was quite happy with it too. Start the APU. <coughs> oh, that's sensitive, man. We've got a friend who um, flies 767 for New Zealand. It won't help with the radar was a bit off as well. Yep, yeah. sorry, Cal. And he um, he reckons <coughs> that the, the tiller on that 767 yep. is so sensitive that uh, you, you move it just a little bit and the passengers out the back will be flying around their seat. Yeah. And this thing here is... I don't know about this one. It seems a little bit... It's like driving a forklift. It doesn't, yeah, and it does actually... Um, if you have a little bit of uh, asymmetric thrust, then you're going to find that it has a quite a big bit effect on your taxi as well. Um, I've actually flown the 7.4 um, simulator out of Air New Zealand and the, little, the tiller control on that's quite sensitive too. And if you, if you do um, go around the corner more than 10 knots, uh, you, 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 well, what happens is the, the main gear actually starts skidding, start drifting, and you get, it starts across the ground and it's like, well, not cool. Not cool. No, no, passengers don't like it at all. Okay, so we've got the lights set, uh, APU started, fuel pumps actually can go off in the centre tank to start switches to uh, off. That's it. <coughs> and transponder to standby. <coughs> Excuse me. I've seen a 7.4 uh, uh, in the ocean there too. Yeah, I caught that. Have you ever seen a website called airliners.net? Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. <coughs> Look at this guy coming in for the approach. He's game. Is that an MD-11 or DC-10? Ooh. Yeah. Garuda. <laughs> Hey, they're uh, here, MD-11. <coughs> <coughs> see, the fire guys, they parked the cars, uh, um, their trucks out, but they didn't have to, they obviously didn't bother to come out to see us, so. <laughs> oh, it wasn't that hard to land? No. So this auto brake, when I push my feet on the brakes, does that do... Uh, yeah, I'm not too sure what's happening with that actually, and why it's doing that. Project to take off, off. It shouldn't actually come into the disarm when it's in the off. I'm not too sure what's well, happening there. on a go-around. 7-4 <laughs> on a go-around. Yeah, he'd be cheese not happy. Alright, we'll find ourselves a nice airway so the pit... Peepees don't get wet. <coughs> yep, so they're right down the end. So you've seen um, a transcript of a whole lot of ATC jokes sort of things, it's quite funny. I heard one of them, um, a couple, might have been a 74 captain, uh, air traffic control asked him to make an orbit. And uh, the captain turns around and says, you realise it costs us $1,000 to make one orbit? Air traffic control turns around and says, I'll have $2,000, thanks. <laughs> yeah. uh, just <laughs> All that's a uh, blooming expensive, aren't they? Oh, yeah, as much as go-arounds as well. Think about how much gas those things use when you, um, well, especially a 7.4. Mm. To go through to full power, it sucks phenomenal. it up, sucks it up. Now, what are we waiting here for? The, um, I made an ATR go around once in Palmerston North. Uh, <laughs> but it wasn't my fault. Did you stop for a coffee? Eh? Stop for a coffee? <laughs> yeah. I was, um... I was uh, coming in from the north, into Palmerston North, and uh, this guy, I was at four and a half thousand feet, at a, a um, twin engine uh, Piper Seneca. This guy was in his, his ATR, got a heck of a lot faster than me, coming in above me. He couldn't descend any further because I was below him, so he wasn't allowed to. 
he got to the point where he um, he actually came out wide and came in for his approach, but he ended up he was too high and too fast. So he had made him go. So around. he had to go around because he couldn't descend in time. <coughs> so uh, well, yeah. I hear Palmy's quite a nasty airport to um, to land at. Nah, times. not really. Not no? it's not too bad. No. Um, you can get a bit of uh, turbulence over the wind, over the the ranges if you're coming in for runway uh, two five, but no. Um, we could probably yeah. just go around uh, go around them actually that way because that's the only problem with this is we don't have a lot of control over the AI aircraft and sometimes they can be a pain in the neck. So you can just swing us around them, around them either. Oh, I don't think we can do that. <laughs> this guy's <laughs> coming. Go over, go over. <laughs> Let's get on with a DC-10 or a yeah. DC-11. Yeah, we'll choose one of these jetways. Yeah. Don't think they'll mind too much. No. There's no, no one listening in anyway. Watch out we don't get a plane that will cross our path. No. We just don't want to take our wing out on that either. <laughs> No, if, um, if it goes to uh, Perth there, yeah, that would be good for you. I don't know what um, the guys in Sydney and Melbourne did, but we actually started doing a type rating system on the sim. And what it is, is, um, I mean, for you it would be simple, a piece of cake, was a, a series of six flights where we actually take people and train them about how to use, how to fly the aircraft, how to operate the FMC, and how to safely get you from one point to another. Um, and, uh, yes, yeah, so it's a series of the six flights, and at the end of it you get a set of wings, and your type rating, you're uh, then um, eligible for a 25% discount on any further flights. I'll be um, the biggest customer, I think. And then um, after, also you're able to fly without an instructor, so you can just come in here by yourself, and fly free, friends and family, take them along for a flight and just go for it, and leave the instructor behind at uh, that discounted rate, so that's proven to be very popular with us. Well, as soon as it comes to Perth, we'll... <laughs> Yeah, so keep a check out on the uh, on the website, just the, the fly experience dot uh, dot com, and we'll do the same same thing. All right, we'll do our um, shutdown. We'll turn our generators on. Good for you. And uh, we turn our pumps off. Uh, do the bleed air first. Okay, well, APU. We'll go isolation. Yep. And um, off or leave them on. Yeah, right. leave them on. That's fine. And just get the engine bleeds off. Shut the engines down here. Run down number one. Running down. And number two. Yep. And it's running down too. And then from an operational point of view, you generally get the lights off first so that the ground crew know that the engines are shut down and, and they can start doing their thing. Uh, wing and leave the anti collision No, that goes off as well. Yep. Well. And then let the passengers get up. Okay. And then we do our shutdown. I'll leave that on. So yep. I'll start from my side. Leave those. Those are on. Sound. It's off. 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 Electrics. Hydraulics. And probe. And the heat. And off. And recirculation on. We'll leave off. I just leave it on for now. Okay. Fine. And lights all off. APU's running. Excellent. And everything else is secure. Yep. That, that. Set. Good stuff. Well Thank done, you, man. Yeah. That was awesome flying. That's good.